The 24-hour race at Le Mans is arguably the most important race of the year, not just for motorsport, but what that means to you. Almost all of the technology that is in your car today has developed here over the years, from hybrid technology, through mechanics, through even window wipers. Digital Trends came here to take a tour and see where all this technology comes from, what that means to motorsport, what that means to you. The 24 Hours of Le Mans is arguably one of the most grueling races in motorsport, but certainly one of the most celebrated. Since 1923, cars and drivers have had their limits tested at this event to see not only who is the fastest, but to prove they can survive 24 straight hours of full-on racing. The old adage of, to finish first, first you must finish, rings true here more than at any other racing event. Indeed, the object of the race is to win, but for the 24 hour of Le Mans, the main challenge is just making it to the end. From engines to headlights to even windshield wipers, Le Mans puts every nut, bolt, and processor to the test before it makes its way into the car in your driveway. During the race weekend, 60 cars in four different classes will drive the eight and a half mile circuit from 3 p.m. Saturday to 3 p.m. Sunday. No matter what place they end up in, those left standing will be regarded as heroes. In racing, cars will eventually run out of two things, fuel and tires. Having to stop to replace both costs precious time away from the track, so vehicles are made to be as efficient as possible within the regulations of each class. Audi has been a fixture of this race for over a decade, and the current R18 race car is the culmination of all it's learned throughout the years. The team went from turbo engines to diesel to a turbo diesel hybrid, all in the name of fuel efficiency. The V6 TDI now consumes 33% less fuel than it did when introduced in 2011, and 46% less energy than the V12 TDI that was used in 2006. Meanwhile, the average speed has increased by nearly 4%. That may sound like a small increase, but it makes a huge difference in a 24-hour endurance race. All that power and efficiency is ultimately useless if the tires can't keep the cars on the track, either due to frequent swaps or worse. Michelin has been part of Le Mans longer than the concept of removable rims, and this year, 33 of 60 cars sported Michelin rubber on their wheels, including the Corvette C6 and the Ford GT. Pushing cars at speed over 8 miles and 33 turns is punishing on a tire. A poor tire can undermine everything an endurance race car has been developed for, from speed, agility, to fuel economy. What good is a hyper-efficient vehicle if it either flies off the track or has to come in for a new set of wheels every other lap? We see the benefits in the real world with better, long-lasting tires for our sports cars, sedans, and SUVs. Back in the Audi garage, the R18 sports the latest equipment to tackle one of the 24-hour race's biggest, most inevitable obstacles, the night. Audi has developed laser light technology that is already in use in its road cars today. This light is cleaner and can reach farther ahead of the vehicle, giving drivers increased situational awareness. An LED matrix can optimize the shape and focus of the beams as well. In terms of road cars, this keeps the road ahead illuminated while preventing drivers in parallel lanes from being dazzled from the rear. These are just a few examples of what makes Le Mans the testing ground of innovation. Countless things like aerodynamics, suspension, and in-car display see time on the circuit, owned for the cars that we can drive without a racing license. Le Mans is a legendary race where, in just 24 hours, thousands of tiny miracles happen. And within a few of those moments, our world of technology grows just a little bit bigger. <laughs>